Do you suggest a Takumisenate or the Radio 6? This is the question I got several times after the release of the Takumisenate. Then, let's have a look. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never captain space. I won't stop till I hear him say. How's it going guys? I'm Stelvio, this is Koliamane, Community for Who Loves Running, where we talk about uh, different running gears, trainings, uh, time trials and races. I got this question several times, then I believe a comparison between uh, these shoes uh, could be helpful. But before to start, don't forget to contribute to the community, leaving a like, a comment, uh, and if you are not yet subscribed, it won't cost anything to you, but it will be really important for me and for the community. As usual, an important remark, both pair of shoes I bought with Mama and no one is paying me for this review. Let's split the video in three different chapters. The first one, a quick comparison of the specs and the uh, uh, running dynamics, uh, the vertical oscillation ratio and the ground contour time. In the second chapter, we will see a comparison of the half sole, uh, mid sole, uh, upper and price. And finally, the conclusion of the last chapter. So let's get started. Looking at uh, the specs, uh, uh, there is an important difference uh, of weight. The Takumi Senate uh, um, is crazy light, uh, uh, you won't feel it in uh, your feet. The Adio 6 is still light, but uh, not like the previous version, something uh, really I don't like. Then we have a different drop in the Takumi Senate is 6mm. Uh, whereas in the Adio 6 is 8mm, you will say, oh come on, 2mm, you won't feel it. Unfortunately, such a difference could be an issue for runners who have problems with the calves, uh, and overall for long distance training or races, um, it's better to have uh, a nigher drop um, for the calves. But I will come back to this topic during the last chapter of the video, so uh, stay till the end uh, to understand which shoe uh, I prefer uh, in this regard. Looking at the stack 8, uh, the Adio 6 is lower to the ground, so better for those one uh, uh, who likes uh, the ground feel. And last but not least, the difference in the midsole. The Adio 6 used the firmer like strike uh, foam uh, in the entire midsole uh, with an addition of the uh, Light Strike Pro in the forefoot, uh, whereas the Takumi Senate uh, um, midsole is made of uh, the Light Strike Pro foam uh, for the entire midsole. And even the shape and the cutouts uh, of the midsole are different. Um, as you can see, uh, the kumis is to be higher in the middle of the foot, uh, where uh, efficient runners uh, usually like to land, and uh, with a bit cut out between the mid and the uh, forefoot uh, for the flexibility. So they could look similar, but they are not. The feeling is uh, quite different. Uh, in the conclusion, I will tell you which one I prefer in this regard. Uh, so stay till the end. Did I tell you that already? Let's check quickly now the running dynamics. Uh, for both shoes, I made different uh, tests that you can see here on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, for the Takumi, I ran uh, two more tests. Uh, uh, I was wondering how good this shoe can be. If you don't know what these dynamics mean, uh, you can have a look uh, on the left hand side. Uh, uh, there is a quick explanation of that. But basically we are talking about the response and efficiency of the shoe. Boys and boys, as you can see, the Azure 6 has a, a better response considering the short and ground contact time, uh, the line in blue. Uh, for the efficiency, uh, on the other hand, the Kumi Senate is another level, um, considering the lower vertical oscillation, uh, the line in yellow. Um, I believe this is due to the uh, shape of the uh, midsole, because it's higher in the middle of the foot, as you can see here. This is instead this the cutout for the flexibility. You see how big it is. With that being said, I believe we are ready to step into the next chapter. Ready? Go! Starting from the household, uh, there are no doubts uh, uh, that the part of the weight more in the Adio 6 uh, is due to the household. Let's have a look. Adidas abounded with uh, plenty of continental rubber, uh, especially in the forefoot, as you can see here, uh, where the rubber is so thick that uh, it sounds like a, a carbon plate uh, uh, in the ground. Um, you can see also from here, on this side. 
so uncomfortable even though uh, the light strike pro in the forefoot uh, which is softer i believe this was the way how they blocked the torsion system uh, which uh, is exposed and you can see uh, On the other end, the Takumi has a thinner layer in the in the forefoot. Uh, we are still talking about the continental rubber, and even thinner in the uh, rest of the shoe uh, and in the heel. So it will last a few races. It reminds me the same uh, uh, outsole than in the Adios Pro 2. Um, oh, guys, I don't remember how many of you complained about uh, the outsole in the uh, Adios Pro. Uh, therefore, you are aware of it now. The outsole in the Adios 6 will last longer for sure, but uh, it is heavier than in the uh, Takumi and also stiffer. Let's talk about the midsole now. We have already seen most of the differences, but I haven't talked about uh, the energy roads, uh, which are in plastic in the Takumi uh, Senate. I'm talking about these uh, uh, plastic sticks here that are called uh, energy roads. They are in plastic, not in carbon, like in the Audio 6, uh, more flexible and uh, less stiffer than uh, um, the carbon uh, energy rods, uh, which is good, but of course uh, less responsive. Everything is not possible. The Takumi has a different shape of the foam, as we said already, uh, and even the dimensions are different uh, because it is slightly uh, narrow in the, in the heel, but also in the forefoot, uh, um, so not really uh, good for those runners who are used to land uh, in the heel. And what about the hopper? Uh, first of all, the hopper of the Takumi is 50% uh, recyclable. Recyclable? Uh, so I like more, uh, but even the shapes of the hopper wraps better the foot, uh, which is great, especially for uh, short, uh, fast races. Both are quite breathable. Also, the, uh, the uh, upper of the um, Adios 6 is quite breathable. I believe it's a single layer uh, mesh. But of course, the Takumi is uh, super breathable. The OLA material in the Audio 6 I don't like, but I believe it will contribute uh, to the durability, which is higher in this shoe. The padding in the corner is better. The same for the tongue, uh, which I like more than the Takumi Sen8 because there are two uh, lateral uh, paddings, tactical paddings. And one important thing to remark is that uh, the Audio 6 has a single line of rings uh, for runners who have uh, thinner feet, ensuring a better foot lockdown, uh, something I would have expected also uh, in the Takumi Sen8, uh, quite disappointed about it. The price is quite different, under 30 euro for the Adios 6 and 200 euro uh, for the uh, Takumi Sen8, uh, quite disappointed about the price of the Takumi Sen8 as well. So overall these are the differences, so I believe it's the time of the conclusions we say that uh, the Audio 6 is heavier, uh, it will last longer in the household and in the uh, upper. It is still responsive but less efficient than the Takumi Sen8 and uh, cost less. Whereas the Takumi Sen8 is light in everything, outsole, upper, midsole, but for the prediction about the durability, better to change the topic. And uh, it is still responsive uh, but efficient as well. So personally speaking, I would use the Adios 6 uh, uh, for short trainings uh, since uh, it is still uh, responsive but uh, not that efficient as other shoes in the market, uh, uh, which sounds better to me uh, for long distance trainings. If you use it for training, uh, then you will pay 200 euro for a few trainings uh, and then the shoe is gone. I mean, up to you guys, uh, but I don't like it at all. But I believe that despite the lower drop, the shape of the household is the real key success factor of this shoe. The Takumi Senate uh, having uh, such a uh, stack higher in the middle of the foot, uh, it gives a, a great feeling for those who uh, land uh, in the in the middle of the foot. I didn't have any issue with the caps at all, despite the lower drop. Therefore, I strongly believe that it can be used for sure for uh, half marathon, but for uh, efficient runners, even for uh, a marathon. Of course, I believe that the other six can be even used for uh, racing uh, because it's still a lightweight shoe. But if you want to have the best in your feet during racing, then the Takumi is highly suggested. I hope I answered your question. I'm wondering if it could be interesting to you a comparison between the Takumi Sen8 and the RC3. Just let me know in the comment below. So this is it for today. If you like this content, please don't forget to leave a like and uh, uh, consider to subscribe. As usual, thanks for watching. Keep running. Until the next time, see you. Ciao.
Rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say. Yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never captain space. I won't stop till I hear him say.